the No Drama AI CEO? So a week ago, I talked a little bit about a company called Dictator. Not spelled like dictator, not like out of Hitler or anything like that. Which put in an AI CEO. In fact, they created this robot body, female, CS, female robot body, and they called it their CEO. And it's an AI CEO. It's a generative AI. And supposedly, the generative AI is supposed to be making all the decisions. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did talk about that specifically. But recently, we've had this huge shakeup at OpenAI where Sam Altman was out one day and he was back in the next and there was all this hullabaloo, if you want to look that up. And eventually he went back into space, into, into place. And there's all the reasons why he left. And one of the things that I quote, uh, I posted on X during all this upheaval said, why don't we just replace him with AGI? Why don't we just replace him with AI and see what happens? Maybe that's what the board was thinking. Maybe the board was thinking, hey, you know, if this is so advanced, if this AI is so advanced, why don't we bring in an AI and have it run everything? Now, I know the decelerators among us are going to be freaking out and going, oh my God, why? Why would you ever want an AI as your CEO? And I'm like, well, think about it for a second. What is wrong with having an AI CEO? Especially if you think of CEO in its purest form, executive officer in charge of execution. Not in charge of creativity, not in charge of new innovation, not in charge of brand new things, in charge of execution, ex executing things. If you want someone to take charge of executing, not necessarily thinking outside the box, but actually executing, then an AI CEO is probably the best bet because they, you give that AI CEO and it will follow the rules to a T. It doesn't care about human drama. It doesn't care about so-and-so whining about this or whining about that. It doesn't care about any of those things. It can make decisions purely based on the data. Now, some of you might say, well, that's a terrible thing because a CEOs should have some kind of empathy. They should think about human beings. They should understand what human beings are like. Sure, it can do that. It can, we can factor all that stuff in as well. But the reality is that a lot of times CEOs really do just need to be executing. They need to be moving forward with the plan and not varying based on this or that, doing something different, doing something out of the box that maybe they shouldn't be doing. Maybe there's other people at the organization that should be doing those things. Maybe the problem is, is that we don't have the correct type of structure for the AI age. Maybe we need to have, and this is, I've said this before, in a kind of a task economy type of thing, that maybe we need to have AI dispatchers that sit at the executive level that can say, you know, here's the things that should be done. Making decisions, database decisions without any kind of emotion driven to them. Of course, you can have an arbiter who doesn't automatically make the decision because maybe they are going to make something, make a decision that is negative to humans. But is there any reason why we can't just test this out as a theory? Bring in an AI CEO, have the AI CEO make decisions, and then have a human being vet the decision as it comes along. Have it look at everything that's going on within the organization and decide what to do. Have it as a trusted advisor to the human CEO. Make it a digitar, a digital centaur, where both the AI and the CEO and the human work together to figure out the problems. This is where we're going, people. I mean, there's so many people who are so afraid the AI is going to come in and take over and do everything. And I, like I've said before, AI, generative AI speci specifically, is a superannuated autocorrect. It sounds like a human. It acts like a human. Some of the wording, some of the discussion is stilted like a human. It can create beautiful images and create great sounds. It can create all sorts of things. But should it run a company? Probably. At least give it a try. 
Let's give it a shot. See, this is the thing that drives me crazy about these decelerators, is that they don't even want to try something before they even know if it's possible. Right? It's kind of like you should be able to attempt, experiment, give it a try. And then if it doesn't work out, do something about it. Is every decision irreversible? No, most decisions are actually reversible. Most decisions in life are reversible. If you move from point A to point B, you may not like to live in point A, point B anymore. You might want to move back to point A. If we think about it this way, if we think about how life has changed and how most decisions are reversible, is there any reason why we can't at least conceptualize AI as CEO? I mean, look at DAOs. They're supposed to be de decentralized organizations, self-organizing organizations. We've already got experiments in that space. How do we know that an AI CEO is not going to make the best decisions for our companies? We won't know until we try. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Oh.